Welcome to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division One sports. Join the Maroon Club today and our player of the game presented by Coca Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. A team effort tonight for the victory. Here's Mike to talk to O'Hanlon about it. Gary, you said it, a team effort. Uh, Coach, a lot to be happy about there finishing that game, and uh, I thought the kids came out with a lot of energy in the second half. Yeah, I thought we did a much better job of defending the three in the second half, and then our, we ran our offense pretty well. You know, we got some really good shots. It certainly has helped having Lucas back. He understands what we're doing. And I thought Dylan, uh, in all fairness to him, he did a really good job uh, uh, of helping out there. But, no, we, we played a much better uh, second half than we did first half. And uh, this is a good team. It's a team that has a lot of talent. And then, uh, and when you play first round of the – going through the first round, the race is who's going to be a better team in the second, second round, you know, and uh, we got to keep getting better. Uh, I thought EJ kind of steadied the ship there when they made that little run right in the middle of the second half. He did. He's somebody get in a gap and make a play in a gap, and that's what we need sometimes. He can get to the basket. He scored all three levels, and, uh, and we needed that. There's been a lot of three points, uh, or, excuse me, thousand point scores here on Lafayette's campus tonight. Justin with a thousand points. Yeah, and the good part about that, we uh, we have him another year. You know, <laughs> another another year and a half actually. So uh, we're pretty happy about that. Uh, but he he works so hard at the game, and he gets in the gym, and he he's a great student. If I can say he's a three seven student, he he does it all. And I tutored him. That's one of the reasons that he's done so well. Uh, Let's not go too far, Coach. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it. Good luck uh, down in Maryland on Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's bring Justin in, our Coca-Cola player of the game. 19 points. Very nice job tonight. Uh, 19 points, 5 and 4. You guys were steady throughout the game, and then you steadied the ship in that second half when they made that little run. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the first half, we didn't get enough stops. That was the biggest thing. The second half, we hold them to 25 points, so I think that's where the difference lies. And you only had four turnovers in the second half, and you had seven in the first half. That's been a big key as well. Yeah, I think every single time we take care of the ball, it's been that's a trend that we're winning games when, when we do that. Okay, now let's talk about the 1,000 points. You're the 46th person in Lafayette history to score 1,000 points. Well, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's a great honor. There's a lot of people that have played before me. I mean, I just put a lot of work into it, and hopefully I'm not done yet. So, Were you aware of it? I'm sure you were, but when, when you made the point, I don't think you were. And it's funny that it didn't come on a layup, didn't come on a three, it came on a mid-range. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a testament to what I've been working on a lot in the summer is that's, a, that's part of my game that I've been missing, so it's kind of cool that that happened. And I, mean, I did know, actually, but I was kind of locked into the game. It was still a close game at that point. Congratulations. You deserve it. The 46th player to have 1,000 points. Good luck uh, down in Maryland on Saturday. Thank you. Got to get a win out there. You got it. Great job for Justin tonight. A, a good win, and, and, and I think a win that Lafayette desperately needed with coming off those two losses. Back to you, Gary. No question about it, Mike, and congratulations to Justin Jaworski from uh, John and myself. John will take us through the highlights. We'll wrap this up. Stay with us. And don't, don't, you, don't you think for a minute that Justin Jaworski did not know he had 999 <laughs> points. It's like a, when you score the ball like he does, it's like a cash register. Cha-ching, cha-ching. I'll tell you what, he got a lot of support from his teammates. E.J. Stevens doing a great job. Watch the flush at the end right here. You got to run out on him because he can shoot the ball. E.J. Stevens, the terrific athlete, smooth, getting to the rack and finishing strong. Let's get another look at it. Just great elevation and uh, a big-time second half for the Lafayette Leopards. It was defense in the first half. Justin Jaworski, how about this one? You pull up, you got one-on-one. -on -one. Most players take it to the basket, not when you can shoot the ball like Justin. I think this might have been that 1,000 point right there, but oh, this is the 1,000 point, another mid-range jump shot. You know, he can catch and shoot off the, uh, the, the offense. He can put it on the floor, shoot it off the bounce, and then, uh, again, that great mid-range pull-up jump shot. His release is so quick. Justin Jaworski kind of put this team on its back. Watch Miles Cherry run the floor in another flush at the other end. Great job by the big guy. Then he goes to work without the ball around the post. Great job by Justin Jaworski and the two big guys working together. But when those post players work in tandem in Fran O'Hanlon's system, it's a thing of beauty. I thought Lafayette, as Mike Joseph pointed out, needed this game tonight. Not only that, Gary, they needed to play well and play well they did. Yeah, no question about it. And uh, I think it's always cool that Justin Jaworski will have that memory one video for the rest of his life, and we congratulate him for that. 19 points tonight for Justin, 19 for E.J. Stevens, and 13 for Miles Cherry. Lafayette shot 51% in the ball game, 48% from beyond the arc, 86% from the foul line. Those are very, very good numbers. Lafayette wins this one, 82 to 64. They go on the road to Loyola on Saturday. We'll stay right here and take on Loyola on the women's side of the basketball game. The men will return at 11 a.m. one week from today when they take on arguably the best team in the Patriot League.
Colgate. So we'll have that game for you. So for John, for Mike, for Rick Gio, the RCN television team, especially Glenn Romaley, we thank you so much for watching tonight. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.